Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. Uh, today we are talking about the newest Saw movie in the franchise, and that is Saw X. I am not going to be reading who all is in this movie, because if you're like me and haven't even watched a trailer, haven't looked at the synopsis, the description, any of that stuff, you are going to be pleasantly surprised by who all is in this movie, but let's just jump right into the review. All right, so Saw X or Saw 10 is of course the 10th movie in the franchise. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt, easily, this is my favorite Saw movie in the entire series for very weird reasons. Saw is one of my favorite slasher kind of horror, of course the traps in this one are the slasher and not John Kramer, but you, you get what I'm saying. It is my favorite fran horror franchise um, for just for the ingenuity of the traps. I don't show up for the acting. I don't show up for the story, even though that some of the movies have really great twists. <clears throat> excuse me. And this one is no different. But I don't go to these movies expecting poignancy and emotion and, you know, character. I, I expect, you know, the gnarliness of, of the traps. And this one has that in spades. But also, this one has so much heart it's to the point where I am completely confused about how it happened. What it felt like to me, I was telling um, my buddy Chad Lutzke about this, uh, it, it felt to me like A24 made a Saw movie. Um, there, there's emotional depth, there is plenty of character, there's great pacing. Um, amazing amounts of dread even though you know some of these characters are not going to die amazing moments of dread uh, in fact I think it is a testament to how good the movie is that you know certain characters survive but you are still on the edge of your seat during that situation and you're wondering is like there's got to be something else here it's got to be something else going on because they can't die it, it just it can't you won't have it it would make all the other movies you know mean nothing that kind of thing um the enjoyment i had watching this in the theater was unparalleled i i felt like this this was the culmination of the entire series there are winks and nods to other saw films there's a, a complete ig ignoring of jigsaw and spiral um now in my opinion those are not bad movies they are just okay and in the Saw franchise, in my opinion, there has been fair to good movies in the Saw franchise. There has never been a great one or an amazing one until now. Now, I feel, like I said at the beginning, man, this is easily my favorite Saw movie. And it has to do with the character depth, especially at the beginning. The first 30 minutes of the movie is really heartfelt. It, it's... You, you feel bad for a person you really shouldn't feel bad for. They're put in a situation where, not that they don't have any other choice, but someone uses their own hope against them. And you, you kind of root for them, not kind of, you root for them the rest of the movie because it is so, it, it is so horrible what has happened to them. Now, it doesn't excuse anything they've done in other movies, not whatsoever, but... You are on their side for this movie, which brings me to the fact that John Kramer is not the villain in this one, not whatsoever. Uh, that that was that was crazy. There was a there was another villain that I, I I did not see coming, and that was a huge surprise. Not because they were a villain, but because of the lengths they were willing to go to to stop. What was, I don't want to go into spoilers. In fact, I really want to do a spoiler review, but I don't have time, uh, at least not this month. But I would love to talk to you guys down there in the comments or on Discord about this movie. If you have seen it, I, all I'm going to do for the rest of this video, if I don't end it now, is gush about this movie. But the emotional depth at the beginning and all the way through it, the, the culmination of all the stuff that these characters have been through all comes full circle. And it is an amazing movie it is a good there has been like i said it's there has been good saw films this one is great but it's not just a great saw film it is a great movie standing alone if you're worried about spoilers i honestly don't think that this spoils 
much of the rest of the series. I think if you go into those movies after having seen this one, you're still going to get plenty of twists and turns and all this other stuff, except for maybe the first one, because in the first one, it's ambiguous as to who the killer is. We know after that, though. Um, so definitely at least watch the first one before before you watch Saw X. But other than that, man, I, I, I only have good things to say about this movie. My inner nerd geeked the fuck out. My inner gore hound geeked the fuck out. It was just amazing all the way through. And I really hope you give it a chance and you go see it in cinema, in the theater, because I want more of this. I want more of the emotional depth, the complexity of character. I want that in all the rest of them. I have no idea how the hell they're going to do it, because this one, really, there's no other story left to tell. Um, also, minor spoilers. Minor spoilers for those of you out there wondering where this fits in. So if you don't want any other, any, if you don't want to know anything else, I suggest you click away now. So in three, two, one, spoilers. This is a, this isn't really a prequel. I believe this happens between part two and part three. So it is going back in time, but part one has definitely happened at this point in time, and I believe Saw 2 is just happening at this time, or has just happened, and then we move into Saw 3. So this one is like Saw 2.5, even though it's Saw 10, but anyways, I almost wish that they would have called this one Saw 8, and the reason for that is kind of like push Jigsaw and Spiral farther away from the canon um, because they're not referenced at all here. But anyways, have you seen Saw X? I would love to talk to you either down there in the doobly-doo or over on Discord. Definitely go check the movie out. If you have to, wait for streaming. But I would, I want, I want this movie to do well. So please go to the theaters and check it out. If you're a fan of the franchise, I think you will be pleasantly pleasantly surprised especially if you have low expectations for this series now but anyways that's all the time i have for today so until next time i have been e you have been you this has been another episode of 31 days of halloween i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye